Tech China was mentioned 28 times on NVIDIA's earnings call. The shares, by the way, are at their session lows, for what it's worth, still up about 2.7%. Um, but mentioned almost as much as China last night was the word inference. Dear Jabosa is here for Tech Check to explain why that was no coincidence and why it unlocks a new growth engine, Deirdre. So, Kelly, you're right. China took up a lot of the air last night and today, but inference, that's the quiet and maybe even more durable driver of NVIDIA's next leg of growth. Now, here in the Bay Area, the discussion centers as much around tokens and the explosion of AI usage. That has to do with a major shift in the race at large. Early on, it was about training models, building the brains, but right now, that is shifting to using the models in the real world. That's inference, and it's where the next wave of demand is certainly building. We see that through many different ways. It's every time that ChatGPT or Elon Musk's Grok or Google's Gemini answers a question or every time an agent reasons through a task. Behind every response is a stream of tokens. These are small chunks of text the model reads, processes, and generates. The more complex the task, the more tokens that it consumes. And it's only getting more compute heavy. New reasoning models, they think through answers step by step, rechecking their work, and that translates into more tokens per query, running through NVIDIA's GPUs, which are still dominant in this area. On the call last night, NVIDIA said that Microsoft processed over 100 trillion tokens in the first quarter, representing a five-fold increase year over year. And at Google I.O. last week, I showed you this chart before, it represents token usage and it's parabolic. Now, as both companies and others incorporate AI into tools that touch billions of users, NVIDIA gets more of this inference, more tokens, more demand, creating this sort of cycle that adds more compute power. Then you add in sovereign AI, Kelly, which we talked about yesterday. That's another leg of that demand. And the China gap maybe gets a little bit less overwhelming, replaced by inference, and that is the growing need to run AI. It's like the very sophisticated version of Dave and Buster's. Uh, Deirdre, for now, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Deirdre Bosa.